Hi everyone. Uh, last time uh, uh, there is an issue with some audio. So this, uh, whatever we have covered this unit testing concept. So many people have asked me to take one more time. So that's the reason uh, I am covering the same topic uh, one more time to understand that in detail. So what is mean by unit testing? So how we I perform the unit testing? So what's the different type, I mean, types of test cases we have? So oh, let's see uh, how to start this uh, unit testing concept. So as everyone knows that, so if you are implemented your uh, mapping or if you completed your mapping as per the business requirement, first thing what we have to do as a developer, we should check your mapping, whether it is perfectly working or not, okay? So the, to check that whether your logic is perfectly working or not, what we do as a developer, we do a unit testing. That means make sure that your code is perfectly working or not. Okay, suppose they have given some requirement to you. Okay, you have completed it. Then how you are validating it, whether it's completed or not, sorry, whether it's correct or not. So whatever the logic you have implemented that is working fine or not by using the unit testing. Okay, so this is the first step as a developer, what we do once we done your uh, mapping. Okay, so if you're coming to the unit testing, so if you see, each company have a different template. Okay, some companies may not have a template also. Okay, so if anyone asks me into you, so can you tell me how you are performing your unit testing? So you can say that that I mean in different ways. One is either you are following a template, or else you are following some template. So like that, you can say. So if you are aware of the template, you can say that, suppose you don't know how it looks like, then you can say that, so we are not following any unit testing template. So, so what you can say that time, so usually we can capture the screenshots of the result. Uh, we'll save it and we showcase that as a unit testing results. Okay, so it is depending on the company, depending on the client, so this unit testing documents will be defaults. Okay, but for sure we do the unit testing. Okay, but template, maintaining a template that is based on the client requirement or some clients may not require those unit testing uh, results. Some companies or some clients may have some default template that you have to use it. Such kind of things we have. So it is not to have a mandatory this unit testing uh, template. So unit testing is mandatory, but to have this unit testing template or following some standards not mandatory, that is specific to some clients, they follow it. Some clients or some companies may not follow it. But best practices, you have to maintain, even though they don't have, even though they don't have this unit testing templates, or this concepts as a developer, you have to prepare unit testing document. Suppose why I am saying you have to prepare this is, suppose the code moves to different environment to make sure that whether you have properly tested or not. If you have this proof with you, so you have done a proper testing, suppose that is not working in other environment. So you can showcase that Okay, so I have tested properly. So this is what I proof I am having it. So this is some other issue. So like that you can showcase it. Suppose you are not having any proof with you. You have not done this unit testing. So finally, they blame developer only. So developer not done properly the coding. That's the reason it got failed in the other environment. So what my suggestion here is, even though they don't have a unit testing concept or unit testing templates. You, you can create your own unit testing document and you can save it somewhere. So whenever some issue arise in your code, so you can showcase that, okay, I have properly tested boss. So there is some other issue. So like that, you can showcase it. So what is the main motto of this one? What is the main motto of this unit testing? So make sure that your code is perfectly working or not. That is the main motto. 
So whatever the logic they have provided or whatever the logic you have implemented as per the business requirement, that is working properly or not. Okay. So that is the one thing. That is the, that is the I mean, main thing of this unit testing. So let me come to the template. Okay. So I already shared here. So what is the template exactly I mean to say? So now, as I said, initially, just a moment, there is an ad. I am playing my video. Okay. So this is what a template looks like usually. So I'm not saying this is this is the only template. This is it just looks like this. Some companies maintain this in some Excel format. Some companies may maintain this Word document. So that is as per their, their requirement or their need, their, their convenience. Okay. So what I mean to say here is, this is one of the unit testing document. Now I'm not saying this is only the unit testing document. So this is one of the unit testing document. So if, if anyone asks to enter you, instead of saying no, you may say this, this is what I am having a unit testing document. The one thing here is, so we have a template like suppose serial number, description, test condition, expected result, actual result, pass or fail, tested by. So description, so what you are going to test it here. So what we are going to the first condition you can see here, I am just checking the source and target. There's a, there is a mapping, is a pass through mapping. So there should, so there should be source number of records always match with the target records because it's a pass through mapping. There is no uh, transformation is filtering the data. Okay, such case what you can do, how to validate that one there is a first test case. We can check the count between the source and target. So suppose source having 100 records, target also should have 100 records. So that is what you can see that. So total number of records between the source and target and the, the query whatever we have, I have provided here. And what is the expected result? It should be same between the source and target. Suppose source having 100 records, target also should have 100 records. Okay, and check the, I mean, actual result should be same. So pass or fail, suppose, we are expecting 100 records, but you got only 99 records in target. One record got rejected. Then test case will be failed. So here, what should be the thing here? It should be failed instead of pass. Suppose when it, when it is pass, if you have all the records in the source, which is available in the target, then you can say it's a pass. Tested by whom? Okay, so you are the developer, your name will be there. So similar way, there are many test cases. See, the test cases is not again constant. As per your mapping, it will be keep on changing. Suppose it's a you now I said a pass through mapping. So you can you can use this kind of thing. So then suppose there is some insert and subdate mapping. So there will be few more test cases. So what you have to do is insert and subdate mapping. What you have to do, you have to insert some record in source and you have to test it in the target whether it's inserting properly or not. So you can write some description here and you are inserting a record and target should have that particular record. So insert statement you can mention here and you can see that whether the particular record available in the target or not. If the record is available, then you can say that this case is passed. So there's an update, we have update also. So what you can do here, there's one more test case. You can update some record in the source and you can see that whether the record is perfectly updating in the target or not. So you take any, any one record, suppose you are updating 10 records, you can take any one record, you provide a statement for that, you can check that. So update case also you can do that. Sometimes we use this minus query. What is the use of minus query? So to get the mismatch data. Suppose there is some mismatch data, so you will get some data. Always the minus query result should be zero. That means it's perfect. That means the data operated correctly. If the minus query result is some, suppose you got one or two count there, absolutely there's some issue in the data population. So that is one for, then now, now four test cases we have covered here, no? One is checking the count, one is by using the minus query, one is inserting a record, one is updating a record, or else you have some aggregated transformation in your mapping. So for that also you can write a test, for that also you can write a test case. What you can write there? Suppose an aggregator, what you are doing? Suppose you are calculating the maximum salary. For that, you can write a, a SQL query, you know? So this is what the expected result that, that is. Suppose you write a, uh, 
uh, selects are from the table, maximum salary group by whatever the columns you have uh, provided in the ITL, same thing you can write in the query. There should be some result now. That result should be there in the target. So like that, suppose you have a filter. So what is the condition you have uh, mentioned there? Same condition you can write in the SQL query. This, was a, this is what the expected result. That should be there in the target. So like that, as per the mapping, the test cases will keep on add. It's a small mapping, test case will be few. It's a big mapping, then absolutely test case will be more. And sometimes some companies may check the naming standards also in the term as part of uh, unit testing. So they review your code. Okay, there they will explain, they will see that you have you have followed that particular standards or not because we have already covered one video. What is the naming standards? So such kind of thing they may expect. That's what I'm saying. So this is like a as per the company, it may change. So this is not constant or any specific to the company. So as per their uh, requirement, they may maintain or not maintain their choice. So it is not mandated to maintain the unit testing template, but as a developer, you should perform a unit testing. Without performing unit testing, no one accept or no one move the changes to other environments. So why I am specifically saying this one is, if you are performing this unit testing, why you are performing? So all your logics are whatever you have implemented, that is working fine. So as per the client needs, so all the design is done. So you are just showing a proof. Once I have done this, I have done this. Okay, so all the code is working fine. My, my part is done. So after the code is moving to other environments, there is no defect, then it goes to the production. So similar way, so similar way, so this will be useful to, to perform or to make sure, uh, sorry, to make sure that your code is perfectly working or not. So that is the main mode of the unit testing. So if anyone asks an interview, you can say that if you are aware of the template, yes, you can say that suppose I confused, I forgot the template. Then you can say that because I'm not following the template. We just capturing the results in some more document. We are storing it. So that is what just we are. That's also client is not using it. Just we are saving somewhere just like a proof. But as a, I mean, my current company or client not following the template. You can say that there is no uh, wrong in that. So as I said, it's not mandated to maintain it. So you can say that, okay, so we have, yeah, we, you can say we are maintaining it. Suppose you don't have it, yes, you can say that we are not maintaining it. So we are just capturing the results in some more document and we are storing it. So that is, that is we are using as a proof. So, but unit testing, you have to perform. Without performing that, we cannot move the changes to other environments. Unit testing should be done. That means your mapping always, I mean, the mapping whenever you complete. So we we execute our flow, right? Once you execute that, so make sure that all the data is now loaded to that. So then after that, you can perform any test case, test cases for that. You can execute and see that. So you confirm that okay, your my my code is working perfectly. Then you can move the changes to other environments. Suppose you know without testing that code, no one will no one will allow you or no one will accept that particular code. Suppose you create a mapping, even though it is correct, no data got loaded. You are you create a mapping, logic perfect. So you have done a valid mapping. So all the logics you have implemented, but data is not, not populating to target. So then there no one is accept, right? Because it's a valid mapping only. Logic, whatever you implemented, correct only. There might be many issues. There might be in the background data issues also there. Some other issues also will come. If you simply say that my mapping is correct, no one will accept. For that, you have to run and capture the result. Boss, this is what the execution. This many cards in my source, and this many got, this many got populated. Okay, I have tested a few records. Okay, all the columns data is perfect, no data got truncated. So those kind of stuff should be there in the unit testing document. So that's the reason. So if even though you create a perfect mapping without unit testing, no one will accept that or no, no one will uh, allow you to move the changes to other environments. You should be properly tested 
then you may change you, you may move the changes pattern in environments if the testing is your testing is not completed no one will allow you to move the changes to other environments so there should be unit testing uh document or else unit testing should be performed by the developer so all again you remember unit testing will be performed by developer only okay you are joined to some company don't say so I'm seeing that many people who ever joined, because they may they might learn in some institute. They join right after the coming if you perform unit testing, they are saying that I have not performed unit testing earlier. So this type of blunders they do. They join at least they are able to manage it. Okay. Suppose you know they joined. If they ask you to perform unit testing, so what they will do? Simply they are saying that if they don't know, they can say no. Simply saying that my, my last company, I am not doing your testing, some other guy is performing. So no one accepts those kind of force because as a developer, you have to perform that. So once you perform that, once you perform that, so you should have a proof for that. Okay. So many, many things are there, many blunders. I have seen some people are saying that. Yeah, he recently I have seen uh, one of the guys joined that he is saying that Outlook. Outlook, he is having a sign out option, like a Gmail. So he's saying that, so Outlook, so in my company, Outlook having a sign out option, like a Gmail, but I am not seeing here, sign out option, where is available. This one of the things that people see, once they join, at least they should understand that. So what type of things is there in real time? So these things, they should be familiar at least. If they're not, I'm saying that they should not be, I mean, very strong, at least they should understand what is what. So that's the reason I'm saying that. So unit testing, for sure, you have to do that. Okay, if the even though you don't have a template or you don't have a, a process there in that particular company, you have to you have to initiate it, or else you have to perform it. Why I'm saying specifically is if your, your code is moving to other environments, so that's a testing team. So who will uh, directly they will blame developer only directly they will say because. The code is not perfectly tested. This guy moved to other environment, but there is a bugs. So to avoid those things, so even though I am saying that there is no utility, let's assume there is no unit testing concept at all. You have to perform it. You have to perform it. You have to make sure, uh, prepare a document and keep it. Even though there is no process, you have to maintain as a safe site. So absolutely. So this will be very useful. Suppose other environments, if you got some error, no. So we can show you the proof. Okay, this is the proof I am having it. So I have tested properly. That may be other issue. So you can check that. If any other issue, you can fix it in the code. You can redeploy. So that is what about the unit testing. That is what last class I have covered it. But uh, I don't know what happened. So there is some issue with the audio. So that's the reason. So I am just taking one more time. So yeah, I think I, I think it's uh, clear for everyone. So I think this this will be